Ned Stark was an honourable man and he liked to tell the truth, but was perhaps the biggest truth he kept from his king, the one thing that ended up getting him killed. Welcome back guys to Fog Entertainment here for another Game of Thrones theory, this time from Season 1, Episode 7. And we've got to ask the question, should Ned have revealed the truth to Robert Baratheon, the king, before he passed away. Now, ideally, Ned would have learned the truth a lot sooner. He could have told King Robert before he went on his hunt, before King Robert was essentially killed by the Lannisters, and everything would have been good. Unless, of course, your name was Lannister. However, we know that is not the case. Ned doesn't learn the truth until Robert is already on his hunt. He comes back pretty much in a critical state where he's going to die anyway. So, at this point, there's not much Ned could have done to save Robert. However, what could he have done to save himself? Now, did he spare King Robert, did he not want to tell his friend on his deathbed that, you know, your wife and those kids that you believe are yours, in fact, they're not. And actually, you're a little cuck because your wife has been sleeping. She's been having incest sex with Jamie Lannister. Now, maybe Ned didn't want to break that to King Robert. Maybe he didn't want to tell him the truth. However, if he did, would Ned have survived? Would King Robert have handled this situation before he passed away. Well, first of all, you have to wonder, would Robert have believed Ned? I like to think that he would have. We know Robert and Ned were close friends, but if you look at season one, a lot of times Robert was reluctant to take Ned's side. Examples of this would have been when Ned asked Robert not to make Jamie Warden of the East. He'd done it anyway. In the Riverlands, when between the fight between Joffrey and Arya, Cersei demanded the death of Lady. Robert did not intervene. Ned had to kill the direwolf. Then in King's Landing, Jamie attacks Ned in the street. And Robert refused to punish Jamie because he was indebted to his father. And then, of course, he told Ned that Cat had to essentially give back Tyrion after capturing him. So when you look at all these situations, King Robert pretty much sided with his wife and the Lannisters over Ned Stark. So who's to say that Robert wouldn't have done that again? Who's to say that Robert would not have believed Ned if he told him? about the incest and about Cersei's children not being his. So if Robert didn't believe Ned, he probably would have had him killed anyway. So that would not have saved Ned. If Robert didn't believe him, then Ned would be a dead man anyway. Even if Robert did believe him, of course, the first thing Robert would want would be revenge. He would want to have Cersei dead, maybe even the kids dead. We know that he was wanting to kill Daenerys. He pretty much changed his mind later, but to him, Daenerys was, I guess, technically innocent. He doesn't really care for Daenerys, whereas the fact that Cersei's kids are not his kids, they're illegitimate, and he'd be made a mockery, so I think he would maybe change his mind. I think he'd be maybe willing to kill Joffrey and the other two. And then, of course, he'd probably want to go to war with every remaining Lannister. I would imagine him and Tywin would uh, do battle, because Tywin's not just going to stand by if Robert has murdered his, uh, his family. So there's a possibility that he would have them all killed and that he would want to go to war. However, at that point, would he have had the power? Would he have had anybody on his side? Now, yes, Ser Barristan Selmy obviously was loyal to King Robert. However, we see when King Robert passes away and Ned delivers the letter for King Robert, Cersei just rips that up and pretty much nobody cares. Sir Barris and Selmy is a little bit shocked and obviously he states that was from the king. But then Cersei proclaims we have a new king now and that that one is dead. So we see how quickly everybody had just turned to Joffrey. I wonder where everyone's loyalties would have lied. Would they have been with a dying king and him siding with a man that most people would view as a traitor? Or would they have been with the future king Joffrey and the fact that... The Lannisters pretty much controlled everything anyway. The small council were on their side. Littlefinger was on the side of the Lannisters. He was essentially having the city's watch in his back pocket. Would they have betrayed Ned anyway? And would they have just added King Robert 
to the list. So let me know guys down below in the comments. By the time King Robert was dying, was it pretty much over? Was Joffrey going to be the new king? And did Ned just need to accept that? Or could he have still done something before King Robert took his dying breath? Had Ned told him the truth and had Robert believed Ned, could things have played out differently? Could Cersei and her children and the Lannisters been killed or removed? And could maybe even Robert appointed Ned heir to the throne? Let us know what you think down below in the comments. I'll catch you in the next one for more Game of Thrones theories. And until next time, peace.